Good morning and welcome to another morning devotion. Is anybody grateful to God that he's willing that we don't perish, but that we all come into repentance? And that is the point here with the church at Tharatara. Paul wrote in Galatians 1 verse 6 through 8, I marvel that ye are so soon you move from him that called you unto the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. The church of Tara Tara tolerated the teaching of the false prophetess Jezebel. God commended them for all their good works. I love how God lifts up his people. But when we are off, he also tells us. In Revelations 2 and 20, God says, Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest the woman Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Verse 21 says, and I give her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. God don't want us to tolerate teachings of the devil. He wants us to stand against it. He wants us to speak against it. We may can stop people from teaching, but we should not tolerate it. In other words, when we tolerate it, it allows it to grow among us. It comes and influences us. It comes and seduces us like it did in this church, Tara Tara. But God is calling us to repent and not to tolerate false teaching. Paul says that it must be a curse. Let it be a curse to anyone who teaches against the teachings of the gospel. What are we doing today in this world during this time of pandemic? God is allowing us to reflect on what we have allowed to come into our hearts and what we are tolerating that is not like him. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your blessings upon us that we will stand on your gospel and we will live your gospel. We will teach it to our children. And we will not compromise. We will not tolerate anything other than your gospel. We will stand against a teaching that is not of you. I pray for those who lead the nations through this time of pandemic. Touch them. May they take heed to the gospel of Jesus. I pray, God, for those who are in the front line of this fight. I pray, Father, for our medical professionals, our essential workers, our law enforcement, everyone out front, that you will touch us and you will help us. Forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us from unrighteousness. Heal the sick. Hallelujah. Deliver those that are in bondage today and even the body of Christ that are tolerating the teachings of Jezebel, the teachings that are false. I pray that we will indeed be delivered. Thank you, God, for the space you've given to us to repent. Help us to do it. We give you praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you as you devote with your families today. Consider what God has said to us and let's repent. God bless you. Have a great day.